Y'all is. Father, Bless it, Lord. You want a Nike lifting belt? No, thank you. Why would I want a Nike lifting belt? I ain't lifting shit. <laughs> that's true. You got that fork to my mouth. So that's why my dating pool was wide. Because it's like, no, I accept everybody. Bitch, that's why you getting meat from Wayfield Foods. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, yeah. Look at me, what she wanna be. Call me Ricky T. Off the leash, I feel like a dog. I can't help but be. Keep it beat, never need a joke. But you needed me. I got cream, make a booty clean. Push your self esteem. I get two in the moment, so I feel like Baby King. Force is back, step on something, so I dress like Baby King. I'm cold, cause you ask a nigga, you know it's giving cream I got kids, when it's not enough, come fill in the team I need chills, I tell that nigga, I tell that nigga He like a baby, he can't be that on my head, on my head I just need the sun, cause shorty got me shots Got me plans and fall, get more, I get that Because I need all my health, give a fuck up my friends Oh my, since you can't be touched, but I make that good I know that I'm rich, but that's my project, bitch Get to me something till my sheep will switch. Push your teeth, push up on the weed. Need a brand new weed, kill my dog. Wow. Wow. Please, I go key on the weeds. Get them gone. Why well, you telling me just let it be? Honestly, I'm good. Yo, my Gym Shark stuff is here. It's literally one outfit in two bags, but I'm so excited. Y'all know I love them. And I gotta try this, I'm gonna tell y'all, girl, this girl on threads, she was really nice though, she responded. At first I thought she was trying to be a B, I just, you know what, but she was really nice. She made a comment and said that Gymshark clothes is trash and they only look good on super lean people and y'all know I had to get up in that thing with the one, two, one, two. Oh, I'm sorry, I was so excited about Gymshark. What's up? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, my bad, my bad. Welcome back, I was excited, so I didn't, you know. Yeah, the energy is good. Um, <laughs> She said Jim Stark only look good on super lean people, y'all know, I ride or die for the shark, okay? So, I'ma put this outfit on, cause I have to make sure that my Live Miami outfit is the one and not the two, okay? So I'ma try it on for y'all, we're gonna see just how unflattering Jim Shark is. I'm kidding, cause I know that it's not. But she was like, you know, just my personal opinion. And, cause I had posted pictures and everything as receipts. Like girl, I'm flattering on who? On what? Huh? Anyway, y'all look at my new gym bag. So this is the tote bag. I was hoping it was gonna be big enough. Y'all, I got all this stuff on sale too, so I'm not mad. Cause this was like $50 and I think I got it for like 30. This is big enough. Y'all looking like big girl how? So, I feel like it's big enough. Cause I don't really have nothing in my gym bag like that for real. And then it has this, where's the opening? Yeah! Look at the little logo. Y'all see him? Um, oh, this, it has like a little opening so I could stick like my hip thrust pad through it. And it's a zip opening, I love that. You don't have to use it, but I could stick like my hip thrust pad through here. Um. And this is cute, girl, look. I can adjust this. I'm gonna take this bag with me to live Miami uh, to put like my camera and stuff in there. Can I make it? I know I gotta be able to make it longer, yeah. I am so excited, y'all. This is me making it longer, like excruciatingly slow. Let me do this side, but I can't adjust that. So, it kind of reminds me, like I said, of my um, Kate Spade puffer tote, but it's the shark. See, I made it longer, and I'm, you can wear it like this, but this is my new gym bag. I think it's much more cuter and sleek than my current one. Plus, my current gym bag is Nike, and it's teal, and it's dirty. So, I was like, yeah, let me get something black, and then also, I don't have to worry about it getting dirty. It has a little pocket here. I could put my AirPods in. Um, and then it has like this little, kind of like a drawstring, not kind of, it definitely a drawstring here. So I could close up my bag, make sure you can't nobody look up in there if I don't want to. 
But when you go in here, I guess this is enough. It's really thick. This is enough. Because really, y'all, I need to go through my gym bag. And I probably can do that with y'all. Because it's just stuff and it don't need to be there anyway. But you have like another little zip part in the inside. Because I really don't need nothing but like my glove. My little warm-up resistance band. You know. So, I do kind of wish it was bigger just because. But like I said, um, I'm running into the refrigerator. It's big enough. And again, I was more so concerned about my um, hip thrust barbell pad but then it can go right here and my lifting belt I could put in there or I could put my lifting belt right here too if I need to but I have that as my new gym bag and then I got the smaller one too oh these are ladies I got a small one just to carry around it's like a little everyday throw type of purse because I had to get both sizes because I just thought this little one was too cute look at this look at this and look at the color y'all and it also comes with like a little crossover so i wouldn't take this to the gym shark event because i need something to put my camera and all my stuff in probably like a jacket because i'm probably gonna have a jacket on and then take it off when i get there um oh this is so cute and again all of this stuff was on sale i got everything on sale i did what i was supposed to do baby i got everything all of this stuff was like 130 dollars and like i said the bag alone was supposed to be 50 but i got that on sale i don't remember how much this bag was but it was on sale too um so yeah this is gonna be just like a oh i gotta do the adjustments on here too this is just like a cute little <laughs> y'all then it also has like a little rubber stamp gym shark right there this is so cute y'all this bag has nothing to do with the gym because it's tiny uh does it have a price on here so i can see like what it was retail no, it just said quilted mini tote, and it's just a quilted tote. Um, it has a little pocket right here that nothing literally could go in but some AirPods or like a hand sanitizer, maybe a lip gloss. But yeah, this is just, this has nothing to do with the gym. This is just, I think, a cute little tote to just have like an everyday kind of throw bag, even though that's what my case bag is supposed to be, but it's so big. My case bag is really like my, I'm going to the cafe, and it's been abused. I didn't even realize that it was abused until I seen my therapist has one. She has a pink one, and hers sits like perfectly. I guess mine do with you, but it's kind of He's like, you use yours a lot, don't you? I was like, yeah, this is my throw. I'm going to the cafe. I need my iPad. I'm about to do some work kind of bag. Um, So this is just a cute Say this ain't cute. And it fits my aesthetic, y'all, because that's just how, like, you know, I don't need, like, dare I say, because I actually have one. We talk about our Balenciaga bag that hasn't seen a lot of day. See, that is a Balenciaga bag, and it's smaller than this. You could put nothing in there. It's just for fashion. But where do I go to wear it? That's why I haven't worn it. This is, like, how I, it goes with this. Like, it's how I usually dress for real. Like, girl, we ain't going nowhere. We got some active wear more than likely, or some type of sweatpants or leggings. So then I have, like, this cute little bag so these were my valentine day gifts so i'm excited about it because oh my god it came so quick i literally ordered it did i order it on valentine's day or the day before i think i ordered it on valentine's day and that was the 14th and today is today the 16th is today the 16th no today is the 16th because i move on the 18th today is the 16th that shit came in two or three days let's just say i did order the day before valentine's day because maybe i did that night before it still came in three days that's crazy we love it um so what this again is the outfit that i'm supposed to wear to the lift event and i got black because really because i wanted to buy something that was on sale and all the cute stuff that was on sale they didn't have my size left so I was like, but you can't go wrong with black. So this is the Vital Seamless. Um, I got everything that's Vital Seamless. This is the Vital Seamless Midi Tank. And I don't have like a tank from them. So this is my first tank. It's like a, so I was like, okay, that's different. And it has a little gym shark. Ah! And then it has it again, like in the back. And then these are Vital Seamless leggings. I didn't realize I had most of my gym shark leggings that I have are vital seamless because I don't really be paying attention to the collections because I don't I'm going to shop there more but I wasn't really shopping there like consistently enough but when I went and looked on my gym shark app because I have that on my phone and I looked at my past orders no matter how far apart they were I have so many vital seamless and I didn't even know because I was like do I like the vital seamless are you sure because I have ordered stuff from gym shark before that I didn't like and I sent back and I was hoping that it wasn't the vital seamless and it wasn't 
So I was like, damn, I got a lot of vital seamless. I really like them. So I'm about to put this on for y'all, but I'm excited that I got like a matching set. Okay, y'all, so y'all know it's dark as hell in this apartment. Um, but this is the fit. Actually, I'm about to go in my room because you're not about to be hating on me. So this is the fit. So y'all, again, this is the Vital Seamless, um, but this is the Vital Seamless 2.0 because I actually had on um, Vital Seamless earlier and it didn't feel like this. So now I understand why this is the 2.0. It's so much softer. Like the other Vital Seamless I had on, uh, it's not hard, but it's more compressive. Um, but it's still very compressive. Like this band, the whole entire leggings feel like this band versus with the Vital Seamless 2.0, the band is really compressive, but then the rest of the leggings are like really soft. And I could have got this, oh, I didn't even zoom like that. I could have got this um, tank in a large because she a little, she a little roomy. But um, I always get all my Gymshark in extra large just in case you guys was wondering. And she is so cute. I wanted green, y'all, so bad. But the set that I wanted in green was sold out in my size. Which is crazy because I have like three Gymshark sets that are green that I didn't like. So I didn't need to get no more Gymshark green. But I'm glad I got this. She's really cute. She's comfortable. She, um, you know, coverage in the back, full coverage. I think this was perfect for the lift event because it's something that I can definitely just wear all day and like be comfortable and cozy in. And it's black, so you know, she's chic. She curt, she curt. I'm literally moving in two days and everything is still intact. I'm gonna be able to function till my mama get here. My mama be here tomorrow. You know when your mama get here, she get the belt out, like metaphorically, you get your shit. Um, but she was like, you can take all this stuff off the wall, but I just don't understand why. <sighs> No. So I said I was gonna go run by Home Depot and see how much that boxes was and buy like one or two. But like I told y'all, we literally gonna load the box, unload the box, and like use the box as our transport. But like she said, I could take all this off the wall, but it didn't make sense because you know what? Just to just to do something, cause I'm tired of me feeling like I'm not doing anything. But then I'ma take this. Actually, I'ma throw all my perfumes in this little acrylic. Well, all of these fit. I think all of they. See, look, shit everywhere. I think they all will fit like these. <sighs> My milk commodity scent. Y'all, actually, this vlog is gonna be good. Oh, I love this scent. Be oh, I'm probably gonna wear this to Gymshark. <laughs> I'm probably gonna wear this to the Gymshark lift event. This smells so good. Um, as I'm doing this, I can literally go through all my stuff and get rid of the things that no longer serve me. You know, we do that when we move. Didn't I say I was gonna do that? I already started throwing away clothes. I have my Kale. Kale. Sorry, why did I do that? Juicy Eden. So let's rate the perfumes. I have the Kayali Pistachio. Oh, oh. So by these three perfumes, you should be able to know I am a gourmand girl. I like to smell sweet and edible. Milk is probably my favorite perfume. Oh my God, it smells so good. The commodity milk. I also like the commodity paper. I don't, I had a little sample of it. I had the whole exploration set, but I used them all and milk was the one I had to absolutely run out and buy. Y'all look, I don't have to tell you, you see that? I done used half the bottle. That makes me sad. When did I use half the bottle of this? Oh, that makes me sad. My Kayali a little, let me see the pistachio, cause I, this the newest one. No, I don't went through this milk. Well, she is over a year old. How did I use half the bottle? Before milk, you could not tell me nothing. Baccarat was my favorite perfume. I still think that Baccarat is the best smelling shit in the world. I don't even have a full size bottle. What is this? I can't, it is the 1.21 fluid ounce and this shit was like $300. Baccarat is the smell, most smelling, most smelling, the best smelling shit ever in life. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. I don't care that everybody got it. I don't care. It don't make it smell no different because everybody's spraying it. And every time somebody has Baccarat on, I can just tell. I know everybody hollering and screams about the gentle fluidity and I need to go smell it. But the reason why I won't go smell it is because I know I'm not. Bruh, $300 for a perfume, yo. I'm sorry. I just know I'm not going to buy it. So that's why I'm like, what you going to go smell it for? Does Dossier have a dupe? Like, because, yeah. Because speaking of, y'all know um, I've worked with Dossier and their Ambery Saffron, which is the dupe for Baccarat, it smells exactly like it exactly no difference so i don't understand i also have the um the dupe for the tom for lost cherry smells exactly like it this girl was wearing tom for lost cherry now again 
I have the Baccarat dupe, which is Amberry Cherry, right? Oh my God, this smells so good. Again, something edible. It's like boozy cherries. This girl had on Time For Lost Cherry and I I had the dupe. I don't own Time For Lost Cherry. I never owned it. I smelled it before, but I never owned it. I said, who got on Time For Lost Cherry? She's like me. I was like, because it smells just like it. So, yeah. What did I say? Oh, Gentle Fluidity. They make a dupe of that because I, I still haven't smelled it. But if Dossier makes a dupe of Gentle Fluidity, I will go smell the actual, what is his name? Mason, what girl? Mason Francis, Kirk Dion, whoever girl. I will go smell his Gentle Fluidity and then I will get it off Dossier, okay? So then I have these old ass Dossiers. I don't even know what they are, like Spicy Orchid. Bitch, throw this away. <laughs> That's it. No. No, well, I'm going to see if my mama friend wanted that. Uh-uh. Why did I used to like that? That's too spicy. And it's called Spicy Orchid. That's too spicy. What, Woody Sandalwood. This, oh my God, this smells so good. This is so old, y'all. Like, it's the bottle is dusty. I had this. I got this in, like, 2021. Anyway, uh, Caramelized Lavender and Hazelnut from Dossier. I got a lot of their scents because, again, I was sponsored. This isn't a dupe of anything that's their own scent. Then I have the Dossier Musky Musk, which is a dupe of the uh, Julia's Got a Gun, Not a Perfume. Again, it smells exactly like it. I actually bought and used, as y'all can see, the actual one of that Julia Has a Gun. And see, I was trying to get into other scents that weren't like um, Gourmand. And I, I won't purchase this again. Like, it's okay. I really liked it at first. But I, I want to just smell like food, like sweets, caramel. I don't know. It's some type of like fruity can. Like if it's fruity, like the juicy um, apple, it has to be like an edible fruity. Well, fruits are edible. I'm not a clean scent girl. Even like I had this philosophy, fresh cream, warm cashmere, fresh cream, like edible scents. I am a gourmand girl. Okay, what is, I have Replica by the Fireplace. Now, that isn't a gourmand. It says burning wood and chestnut is like the fragrance description. It's smoky. So, how would we describe that scent? And then I have, like, I do like Woody scents because this is Dossier called Woody One. This is back in the day before they gave it cute names like Ambery Cherry and stuff. Um... And this smells pretty good. Now, y'all don't laugh at these next three scents that's up here. I've had them literally since high school. That's not, that's a lie, actually. So, I have this Rihanna Nude. Look at the dust on it. Can y'all see that? This Rihanna Nude, my ex-husband bought me. Look at the top. It's so damn dusty. Can y'all see the shit flying? He bought me this in 2013 for Christmas. So, that's how old this is. And I just, the bottle all chipped. I mean, I used it. Um... I just still have it. That's crazy. Perfume bottles don't even look like this no more. This is hideous. But back in the day, we thought it was cute like this. And then my mama gave me this. When I was in high school, baby, and I used to wear this to school, you couldn't tell me. Look how much is left. You couldn't tell me nothing. Oh, and it still smells good to this day. Ed Hardy, Love and Luck. I just want to know, like, what category that would go under. And then I have this Jessica Simpson Fancy. Again, so damn dusty, y'all. This shit is 10 years old. I think this is a gourmand scent. Anyway, those are the scents that are on my now. I have the scents quote unquote packed up. Cause see what I'm gonna do is like put this in my little wagon and will it on along with other things and will it on to the new apartment. It really, I don't understand what I was supposed to pack. So that is the top shelf cleared off. Here's my acrylic. Damn, hold on y'all. Cause it's stuck. It lifted the whole damn shelf. Here's my acrylic rack that I bought off Amazon that's dusty and need to be cleaned anyway. So I'll put all of this like in the um the wagon and take my shelf, which <laughs> y'all can y'all see that? No, I don't know why y'all cannot see this shit is dusty. Um, but so I took that off now. I would need these screws to come out the wall. But the man that do like the TV and stuff, I want him to take my shelves and put them up. Because some of the shelves in the bathroom, like, I don't know, I was having a hard time with those and didn't get those right. But I got these in there pretty good. But I need, like, the screws to take them out. And I just want him to put them back in there. So, there's one shelf gone. And then, like, my jewelry shelf. Baby, he got my grills. 
I'm gonna put them in the same little thing with my perfume. My JBW watch, I'm just gonna close it on up. So I don't get the keys until Sunday. And when I get the keys, I have to go to the apartment, you know, and clean it, um, which shouldn't take long. Cause you know, the apartment already clean, it just how good they clean it. And then I'll start moving stuff like room by room. I probably will start with my room first and like my closet. Um, get my clothes out and all of that. The stuff that I can. I don't think I'm going to get the movers to come until Monday. And I'll just Sunday at night come back in here. Because, yeah, if I spend all day um, Sunday cleaning and, like, getting stuff out, then when the movers come on Monday, like, shouldn't nothing be left in this room but what they need to move. So, like, the TV, take it off the wall, move the mirror. I can move that. That's myself, but I probably let them move that too. The bed, but the lamps will be gone. You know, kind of like that. Um, my Gucci box that I don't have the ring in. Where's the ring? My Gucci ring. Oh, let me put my, my daddy bought me this. Did I show y'all this compass? I think I did, that he got me for Christmas. Put it in here with my Gucci stuff. Here is my teeth from my old girl that I lost. So I can throw that away. I'm throwing it away. And what is this? Some uh, like a cleaning cloth. I guess I don't need that. But like my 111 necklace, my little bracelet, like all of this. I ha I don't want this stuff to get tangled though. Girl, when the last time I wore my Jeep necklace? Like I don't want this stuff to get tangled. Cause you know these necklaces will tangle up on you and you will never get them out. Shit. See, this is what I mean. So, I'ma just take this tray and be real gentle and like kind of move it right here. Cause I'ma just have to take this down like in my hand to make sure that nobody gets tangled up. But this is just my little jewelry tray. So I, can, I again, I don't feel like I can really move much, but here we go, okay. Boom, another shelf off the wall that's dusty as fuck. Okay, y'all, we're going to get boxes. I looked at the website. They like only a couple dollars. I know y'all probably like, duh, what you thought that was going to be? Girl, I don't know. But I'm carrying my new uh, little bag, and I love it because y'all, it fit everything I need, which is my wallet, my Jeep key, and y'all, that's all. I ain't need that big old tote. But so this is now my grab-and-go type of bag, y'all. I know I ain't got no business coming on here telling y'all this, but listen, there's this guy that lives in my building on my floor. When I tell y'all he is drop dead gorgeous. He is perfect in every way. Physically, cause I don't know that man. He got a girlfriend. And every time I see them, all I could think is, Lord, I see what you've done for others. His girlfriend is so sweet, but I just seen him and he was taking it. He got a little Frenchie too. He is so beautiful. He has perfect teeth. He from the island, so he got this little accent. And Jesus Christ. Jesus. Okay, do y'all see the boxes back there? Y'all see them? Then leave me alone. Don't ask me for nothing else. <laughs> I know y'all like, girl, this is for you, not us. But I feel like I was bullied into getting boxes because y'all just wouldn't let me do what I wanted to do. But I do know the first thing I want to actually put in those boxes, I got six boxes. Because I'm telling y'all, like I'm thinking about the dishes and like people were talking about the seasonings and stuff. The dishes are going to go in that wagon. I'm going to wag their ass downstairs. And the seasonings too, but I'll at least probably put them in like a plastic bag. So I do want to go into my um my coat closet. Cause that coat closet is chaotic for no reason. And I don't know what's in there, girl. So like I'm gonna go through that coat closet probably when I get home. But I wanna go to this place that has sandwiches that are supposedly the best sandwiches in Georgia. We're gonna see it's like African inspired or something. It's called Zunis. It's seven minutes away. So that's what we're gonna do because yeah, I'm not cooking anything else in my house. What did I eat today? Oh, I tried Arby's fish sandwich because somebody said it was good. But no, filet of fish, baby, because that sandwich was. I should have known. Y'all, we should. Arby's is not. I don't know why y'all be trying to act like Arby's is good. Because, girl, yeah, so that's what I had. And now I'm finna go get this sandwich. They have like a salmon one. I think that's what I'm gonna get. A chicken, a salmon. They know they need to the ask me. I'm gonna try to show y'all. Um, try, bitch. Take the camera out. Um, they got this damn sausage sandwich called Booty Roll. And they know that. I was. Why would you do that? So I'm gonna go there. I know this because I looked at the menu. I think I'm gonna get the salmon sandwich. 
Um, and I don't know. My mom will be here tomorrow, so the nigga tree that'll be done as far as food. That Saturday, the Sunday is moving day. I, I try not to be eating out like this, but yeah, I know I'm not cooking nothing else in that house. So maybe Monday. And my mama gonna be here for all week because I need her to watch the dog when I go to Lyft, Miami. So this week is about to be chaotic AF. Oh, hold on. On top of that, I got a wig review to do that I'm supposed to be doing before next week. I don't know why I agreed to that. Actually, I could have been done it. I've had time, y'all. I just been not doing nothing. Um, and I need to go. Ooh, I said I was gonna do this before the month end, which means I would need to do it next week. I don't want to. I'm supposed to be shooting like workout videos for this god, and I don't want to. And it's not the reason I don't want to is because I'm just being lazy and I don't want to do the work. It's nothing, it's not that big of a deal. I just need to book the gym because I'm gonna book a gym, go record the workouts. It, just record a, a like once it's not that serious it is gonna be quite a bit of workouts but like you only need to do you're not really working out you're gonna do one set of it whatever that's all i need to do i mean and then i do have to like create the guy but i said this week i was gonna record the workouts and i don't want to do it because i just so lazy and i'm like why would you say you're gonna do that and you're moving but i'm like girl you what you gonna do all week it's not gonna take you all week to get into this apartment <sighs> I feel like I'm setting myself up to be overwhelmed, I'm telling y'all now. But we'll see. Oh, now y'all know they wrong as hell for that me and you that sandwich on that cost some booty roll. Why would you do that? Did you think that marketing strategy or tactic was gonna make me wanna try it? Cause it did it. It's already a sausage. And y'all know we kinda funny with that. Then you named it booty roll. Anyway, y'all, this sandwich is so beautiful, y'all. Oh, it is so beautiful. I have never had this place again. It's supposed to be like the best sandwich in Georgia. But this, I just want y'all to see this. It is beautiful. This is my sandwich. I forgot what it's called. The Fisherman, I think. So it's salmon, provolone cheese, lettuce, onions, and then like two type of sauces. Like um, their specialty sauce that they come with like a little lemon wedge. But do y'all see how beautiful this is? Look at that piece of salmon. I'm just gonna grab this little piece of fish right here and just taste the fish. Okay, underwhelmed. But let's go ahead and give it a taste. This sandwich was $21. No, no side, no drink, nothing extra. I mean, it's a good sandwich, but I'm not hollering and screaming. Mm. I'm not getting the hype. The sandwich is good. Okay. And by good, I mean, if you offered me one, if you was there to got hamburger a sandwich from Zuni's, you want one? Yes. If I'm around the area and it's just so convenient, Yes, but would I ever just sit in my room and be like, mm, I want some Zoonies? No. I don't think it's something I would go out my way for or something that I would just like crave. You know how you have something that you eat and you'll eat it again and it's good, but you will never just be like, bruh, I want this. Like think about it. Sometimes we'd be like, I want Chick-fil-A. Well, let me think of something else. I want Kava. I want Domino's Philly cheesesteak piece of pan crust. If I wanted a sandwich, which is actually why I got this, because I was I went to drop off some packages the other day and next door was a Subway. And I was like, I kind of want a sandwich. I'm going to move for a sandwich. But I was like, no, nah, you know, you're going to eat the food at home. And I did. I ate my breakfast food. And now I don't have any more eggs. So the, today is when I was like, I'm going to get me a sandwich. And when I said that, I had all intentions of going to like Jersey Mike's or Subway. Let me know if you team Jersey Mike or, or team Subway in the comments. But um, I love Jersey Mike's. But Subway is just right there, so whatever. But um, I was like, you know what? What about that sandwich place that you never tried that's supposed to have, like, the best sandwich? So that's how we got the Zoonies. But I don't ever think I would be like, ooh, I want a sandwich and think of them, even though they have, like, this specialty sandwich that you can't just get anywhere. It's good, but it's I'm, I'm not going to my way for it. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it a good 7.5. If somebody was there and wanted to pick me one up, great. 
But me just like, bro, I want this sandwich. Yeah, no. I don't know why I lied to y'all and told y'all that I was going to get into that closet because I'm not. It is 9 o'clock. Y'all know I clocks it out at like 8. So I'm about to take a shower and get in the bed and watch Mind Hunter and we will we'll start strong tomorrow because Mama Lorraine will be here rearing her whip, making me do whatever that I'm supposed to be doing because I, I honestly don't know. But I know that I'm going to get in that closet probably before she even get here, tape up those boxes and start doing some things. But okay, y'all. Tomorrow is literally the last day before we get keys to the new place. This is crazy to me. Because I, I just, it doesn't feel real because I, I'm not really moving, but I'm moving. Anyway, so we, we really going to be doing something tomorrow. Um, not much. Y'all will see when it happens. And if I don't, maybe I don't understand like the, what I'm actually doing. Like the, it'll all come out in the vlog though. So when I'm crying on Sunday, like, oh my God, I didn't know it was this much. I didn't understand. Y'all know why. But anyway, I know that I want to get a clothes rack so that instead of um, using those plastic bags and wasting trash bags, I can just roll my clothes on down. I forgot one thing. Guess who's going to the Gymshark event? Kayla. Do y'all remember Kayla? The girl that I went to have sushi with and like she's a gym girl. Like she's actually prepping like for a show like a competition like she really about that like i should have known that she was going to the gymshark event though because she's from miami and that's what the gymshark event is so it's just like she's just going home i should have known but yeah okay bye for real this time <laughs> y'all i've been up since six o'clock in the morning <laughs> i hate that shit for me it's 7 30 i had to come get y'all though so i was been up since six it was funny because i was like on instagram scrolling i've been watching youtube videos i had responded to this one girl dm like just you know i don't it wasn't even nothing but she showed message back and was like you up early i was like girl i know i hate it but we up so i've been watching um when i get up this early though i don't do anything maybe i should but i just kind of be on social media and like watching vlogs and stuff y'all the reason why i had to come get y'all is because i'm sitting here watching chelsea like prep her galentine's day right and she get like we had a choice of steak and salmon and only one girl chose salmon and everybody else chose steaks they just did and we were joking like at the galentine's about like how big the damn steaks was we was like damn girl like we wasn't complaining baby because we we ate them but we was like damn need some big ass steaks and we was like well we probably gonna be able to eat them here because they were so big but they was eating my mind was i don't know what y'all was doing anyway as I'm seeing her, because I didn't ask her where they was from or nothing, like, but I'm seeing, like, her and Dame, like, prep the steaks, and I see that they came from Publix. Look, listen, let me tell y'all something about me. Y'all see me get my groceries. Where we go? Publix, Trader Joe's, Whole Foods. Every once in a while, I creep to Kroger for something, but ever since I seen that damn video on Instagram of a rat running through the meat, I swear to God, y'all, it was in Atlanta. I think it was Decatur, the damn Kroger I used to go to when I lived with my ex-boyfriend because we live in Decatur. Baby, there was on Instagram, there was a rat. I'm not playing with you. Running through the meat. Like, where the, running through the little freezer or the refrigerator section of the meat. And when I seen that video, all I could think about was, first of all, how was somebody able to get this on camera? Because none of the workers, how did the fucking rat get it? Anyway, ever since I seen that, I was turned off by Kroger. Before that, though, I really did like Kroger and Publix. I never really mess with Walmart like that. I'll go to Walmart for condiments. I will not touch no Walmart meat. And that's crazy because I used to. How far we have come. I'm never going, like, I never shopped at Walmart for meat because I used to get them Chuck Eye steaks. And now I get my Chuck Eye steaks from Publix. Anyway, the point was... I'm funny about where I buy my meat. And then y'all know I have a bad habit of dating people that are not trying to be funny. But we talked about this. Like, we just, our, our lifestyles are not in sync. We're doing different things. And I'm trying to stop that. So I got something else to tell y'all. But um, the last niglet over the summer, ooh, oh, I could not stand this. He was so, I gonna say he was cheap. I understand like I'm blessed and I can do things that everybody can't do but just be honest about it so if I'm telling you like oh well I shop at Publix for my meat you know because of the quality that that's true I understand if you can't I do but don't act like all the meat is the same just don't do that it's not I'm sorry but it's not so this man didn't even go to Walmart well, I ain't gonna say like he didn't but listen it, he wasn't getting the meat from Walmart 
tr uh, Kroger or whatever, right? It's this place. Now, let me know in the comments if y'all know what I'm talking about. Wayfield Foods. If you live in Tennessee, because I know I got some Chattanooga subscribers, there's this place called United Grocery. If you live in Georgia, what's it called? Food Depot. Y'all know what places I'm talking about. Like the discount food places. It's basically like the Ross for food. I can't do it. Baby, I'll never forget. He told me he got something from there. I don't remember what it was, but it was okay. I ain't gonna hold you. I was like, you got this meat from where? It's the same meat. I'm like, no, the fuck is not. But that was okay. But there was two times that happened, and I was like, listen, he, he, he said he was making some lamb chops. Y'all, I had never seen, I have only in my life, when you say lamb chops, the lollipop lamb, these were like lamb ribs or I don't know what they were. No, girl, I, ooh, I wish I could tell you. I don't know what cut of lamb it was. I swear to God. But I have never seen, I've seen ground lamb. I've seen lamb lollipops. I've seen, I had, it wasn't like the lamb, y'all, I don't know. It was like little cut. I don't know what to tell you. I, I've never seen it before. It wasn't nasty. It wasn't. I ate it. I ain't gonna hold you. But that cut of lamb, I had never seen. And he didn't tell me he got it from Wayfield till like I was already eating it. And I was like, why the fuck is you buying lamb from Wayfield? It's already the discount, like, meat place. And you couldn't go get, like, a, a ground beef, a chicken wing, lamb. Why do they even have lamb? Okay, cool. Y'all, the last time this man was at my house, basically when we broke up, right, I had been begging him to buy me some, to cook me some ribs. So he did. And I didn't have to ask where the fucking ribs came from, y'all. Those were the worst ribs of all time. Listen, it wasn't the way he cooked them. They were seasoned good. They were The, the actual taste of the ribs was good. It was the quality of the meat. I, I don't want to say they were fatty because I love fatty meat and it's pork, you know. I don't know what that shit was and I'm not picky. Like, I literally eat the fat off the meat. I'm that girl. I don't, I'm not picky, baby. I eat, as y'all seen, I ate, I ate the lambs that came from there. But the quality of this rib was so horrible, I couldn't eat it. Like, I tried to chew it and I was just like, nah, like, I can't have, like, it had some pieces. The pieces of it that was actually, like, pork meat, I guess, was good, but it was... I don't know what was on them ribs that made. They were just horrible quality. And so I say all that to say, first, I hope y'all know that Publix is high for a reason and so is Whole Foods. They're not charging you just because they can. No, they're not. Like, th th please, just, if. again, I don't want to tell you where to get your meat from because you got to do what you got to do. But let's just acknowledge that this, it is not the same. Basically, what I'm trying to acknowledge is I do not shop at Publix and Whole Foods for just because oh it's cute no it's high as hell and if walmart literally did have the same meat i would go there there's a difference in the quality of meat and they already missing with our food y'all they are everything is already bad for us so i'm gonna just try to do the best i can and i'm not saying that you can't get no meat from walmart actually walmart ain't even a problem i just prefer Publix, but i'm not buying no discount meat and i never forget the time i bought some shit from aldi and then it came out that they was using horse meat and whatever meat that i had bought from Aldi. this was years ago so i don't know but it, it was off and i never did it again and then it came out that, mm -mm. anyway that wasn't really the point that i came to talk to y'all about the real point that i can't talk to y'all about is chelsea this girl is getting us meat from Publix. And this man, the man in your life, buying you meat from Wayfield Foods. <laughs> I gotta laugh at myself. I'm because that's just funny that Chelsea cared more. Like she could have got actually, I would it doesn't matter where she got the meat from. I knew Chelsea wasn't getting no meat from the no Wayfield Foods. She probably don't know what that is. First, and also she ain't going too far from her house. So that was never a question. But I really didn't think it was Publix. I thought probably Kroger, and I'm cool with it. I don't want to go to Kroger because of what I saw. But I'm not gonna say I never went back to Kroger after that. I actually, when I cooked for him, I went to Kroger because he had a little crumb snatcher. <laughs> And I'm not finna be, that's a lot of money. I'm just gonna hold you. I'm not saying I won't eat meat from Kroger. I don't like to go to Kroger. There was nothing wrong with the quality of meat from Kroger. It was because I seen that fucking rat that turned me off. So that's not that. But I really did kind of like think they came from Kroger. I just didn't think, but I should have known because the size of them. But that wasn't the point of where she got it from. It was just that me and ain't shit. 
I hate to say that because I'm not. I'm a lover girl. But damn. No, the men, they, they, they like they be saying, it's not that men ain't shit, it's the men your ass be dealing with. So listen, because we have learned from things in the past, and I really, I have told y'all, why am I doing all this talking at damn 7.30 in the morning? <laughs> I have told y'all, though, that I have dated the way that I've dated because I, things, perceptions of me that people like oh she thinks she better oh she stuck up and i didn't want people to have these perceptions of me so that's why my dating pool was wide because it's like no i accept everybody bitch that's why you getting me from wayfield foods <laughs> <laughs> anyway because we've learned like like my therapist said i'm sorry life is not fair some things you are just better than uh, it just is what it is okay so y'all this guy was telling me uh i was telling him about i was moving he was like where are you moving to and i was like oh i'm literally just moving to a different unit in my apartment complex and he was like oh i'm trying to find somewhere to move to too and i was like where are you moving from and he said the west end <laughs> if you from atlanta the west end baby wait hold on because i'm gonna claim riverdale all day south side what's up like somebody that i feel like I don't know how to, what to say about this. I literally have lived everywhere in Atlanta. Yeah, literally, I've lived almost every part of Atlanta. I ain't never lived in the West End. <laughs> the West End is rough, baby. I it's rough. Like the South Side is one thing. Like it's a little ghetto. It's a little hood. You know how we do little. Oh, we do hood shit with our friends. That's the South Side. Like it's a cute little hood. You know, ah, the West End, baby. That's the gutter. And I'm, not, I'm trying not to, because hold on though, if we're going to be honest, like my mind went there, but also, um, you know, there's a lot of re-gentrification -gentrific going on. Yeah, whatever. I ain't got my academic words together. They redoing shit. So you could live in the West End and live in a, a very nice apartment that ain't supposed to be over there. Or fun fact, well, so those townhomes that I really wanted, they weren't in the West End per se, but they... Yes, they, wait a minute, what is, that is considered the way how I mean, okay, they was slick kind of like at the tip or like the end of the way, like, they slick was in the hood, remember? We talked about it, like, why are these townhouses over there? So, I can't say too much because they don't necessarily mean, but because of past trauma, I'm like, okay, we not, we not, uh-uh, you live where? Oh, okay. Y'all, I'm not trying to be funny, but it's like, Y'all know how much I pay for rent. And y'all have to be honest and think about like how men are. So for instance, ooh, I ain't want to bring him up because um he not gonna make it. But the guy that I went on all the dates, whatever, whatever, he even said like, oh, I'm I've never dated except for one girl. Like I've never dated anybody that could possibly because he don't know how much money I make, but could possibly make more money than me. And when he said that, I said, Well you don't know how much money I make and he was like, Well, I know where you live and I don't know people that's just paying that type of money for rent. So again, like guys be feeling some type of way. So like I'm thinking in my head you he doesn't know where I live. Like I he doesn't know what side of town I live on or whatever but the West End and then you see how it, we just gonna have to keep it cute <laughs> but again this is me doing cause I don't know this cause you said the West End don't mean it doesn't mean anything cause I slick was about to be if I could've got that town house guess what you would've been coming to my house and being like on the way to the drive to my house you would've been looking like fuck <laughs> and then we pulled up you'd been like okay but on the way you was gonna be a little nervous <laughs> see I told y'all what be happening I went to bed at nine o'clock. <laughs> I told y'all I get up at like six and then I get sleepy again at nine. Um, it's 10.30 after I got up and I was like, I looked at my mom's location and I was like, damn, she on the way, she need to tell me. So now I gotta get up and act like I've been doing something. <laughs> so I'm about to put these boxes together uh, and start on this closet, I guess. See, I was about to put some boxes together, but this shit, this is why this didn't make no damn sense. This is why y'all need to mind y'all business. Because these are your boxes, ma'am. We have suitcases. We have a wagon. Like, we did not. I guess, bro. Look, again, when it's really time to move, we'll just see how if it's as easy as I believe in my head. I was looking for this damn bag. I knew I had two of these bags and I couldn't 
Well, how did it get in here? Y'all, I'm over there trying to pack orders and I knew that I had another big blue bag. I was like, I could have sworn I bought two. I did not know I was in here. Ha! See when you move? I hope I find my Apple Pencil. But anyway, I hope that this is as easy as I think in my head because why they need the boxes. Because again, let me just reiterate what y'all will see tomorrow. You see this big ass suitcase? Well, we're not going to do none of this because it's closed. They're going to go on our rack we're going to get. But let's just set all this shit at the top can go in here. We're going to move it downstairs, unpack it, come get some more stuff. Do y'all do y'all get it? Again, if I'm crying tomorrow, then y'all can talk about it in the comments. But I just don't think it's that big of a deal. All right. So we got that. We got this little whole bag. This could have been my gym bag, but I would never take this to the gym. Not a comment. I don't want need any conversation starters, okay? Um, this is the wagon that I was telling y'all about that's going to be so helpful because so like the dishes and stuff will go in here and then yeah and then put them up right it needs to kind of be like cleaned out and my trash can need to be cleaned out but yeah this is the wagon which is funny so I, I bought this wagon this wagon hasn't seen it like that can y'all even see this wagon anyway i bought this wagon when i lived at my other apartment because i had if y'all remember y'all should jesus christ remember i had the garage at my other apartment where i put my merchandise because like my inventory because i didn't have a second bedroom so i paid i don't even remember how much i was paying for a month for that garage but i would go i would print like my order list in the house right and then i would go down to the garage and put all the stuff in there and then wheel it back on up that's what i bought this for um and yeah it hasn't seen a lot of day then a lot of people use these for groceries like when they live in an apartment but I don't buy that many groceries, so I never need to use it. But it's going to come in handy now. That's great. All right. We're going to throw this shit away. This is Young's carriage. Do you remember this, Young? Your ass cannot fit in here. No shape, form, or fashion. When I bought it, this got used maybe once or two, one or two times. I probably don't get this to Goodwill. This is actually really, if somebody, if I knew somebody that had a little dog, because this is really cute. Maybe for my baby dog, I'm going to get JK. Looks like we're stuck here for another 18 months, so ain't no other dog. Y'all, clothes that need to be discarded of jackets, because I haven't worn those since I've been here, so I obviously don't need it. I keep trying to keep this jacket, and I have to, because, oh, I, I was going to say it's the only jersey jacket that I have. And, yeah, basically. Not that I really need a jersey jacket, but just in case. But I did just get this for a pretty little thing. It was on sale for $20, and I thought it was cute. It ain't really jersey, though. Anyway, we got hookah hoses all in here, y'all. Hookah tips. This is crazy. Tell me you from Atlanta without telling me you from Atlanta, though. This backpack, y'all, I've had literally, girl. When I used to go sub, this was the backpack that I took. And now it just, well, it had important documents in here. But now, girl, I don't know what's important. This, again, been sitting in this closet for I, know, I don't know how long. Never needed to go through it, never nothing, so it must not be important. Here goes, look, I don't even have those. Yes, I do still have those beads. So I'm gonna put them in the case. The case is filthy, just like the beads. They're falling apart, but they're in there. I'm gonna show y'all. But see, there was a case for them. Um, one of the many planners that I bought that did not get used by the way. Y'all, weekly planner 2019-2020. It's safe to say we can throw this away. We are four years, this is four years old. And I stopped writing in it. This is cute. See, stuff like this, I'm nostalgic about. I just want to go back and see what I was writing. I stopped writing in it February of 2020. That's the last time I wrote in it. That's because that damn pandemic came, right? That's when the pandemic, yeah, right about March when we shut down. Yeah, because I took this like when I was subbing. Oh, and I never knew I was going to stop because then the pandemic came and life really changed for real. <laughs> That's crazy. So like last thing I wrote y'all actually was four years ago. This is crazy. The last day, last thing I wrote in here was February 2020, the 17th. Today, today is the 17th of February, y'all 2024. Do, see shit like that, I be thinking is crazy and not a coincidence. Why? It literally has been exactly four years ago since I wrote in here. And I wrote full body workout with J Scope. <laughs> Planning content. What I eat in a day, staying on track. 
what I wore in a week, what I eat in a day. Oh my God. Kevin Gates concert, uh, November the 4th of 2019. That was my first Kevin Gates concert. I remember that. Wow. See, I don't know. Then this is me writing down like payments I got from like working with sponsorships. $300, $300 a girl. These rates is low. Yeah, look, we can toss that. I, that was the whole thing. I don't, I didn't mean for it to be, but it is so much stuff. I probably, no telling what else. Here go an urgent care summary report from 2020. What was wrong with me? Back pain, diarrhea. No, wait, did I have diarrhea? Nausea and vomit. Hold on. Then I have another planner, 2020. Why do I need two planners? This is cute. It say plan on, work hard. This is cute. This was a cute little planner. Oh, March 16, 22, mantra for the week. Stop doubting who you are. Hmm. We we still ain't kind of got that. This is so crazy. Yeah. I got the papers for when I bought my car. This got to be like, not the Mazda. Girl, why do you still got this? No, this is my first Jeep and I forgot. I did get that Jeep from a Mazda dealership. Cause okay, the reason I said this not the Mazda, cause my first car I ever had, I got it in 2012, it was an actual Mazda. Um, but I got my first Jeep from the Mazda dealership and I don't have that car no more, but still got the papers. I don't know why I feel like I had to keep these. 2020, boy, 2020 was a year. Everything I was like, oh, it's probably important. Turns out that was a lie. I haven't worn none of these coats in years. Target. <laughs> so why do I still have them? Like, I ain't wore this coat and I, I, why do I have them? You shouldn't have them then. It's like I'm hoarding clothes. Like, oh, you might need it. It might go with something. Girl, I don't even see me wearing no yellow coat or this little paper thin ass orange one that I thought was so fly when I bought it from Fashion Over. Girl, let this shit go, please. Do I have tape? I know I have some in the car. Well, I could use this. But I, all right, I'm just gonna use this. I'm pretty sure there's tape somewhere else, but I'm not gonna go looking for it because this is fine. It's not that serious. And I'm not taping the top because it's just gonna be carry. But this, see, this is what I'm saying. I feel like it would have been easier. So now, like we're talking about the um, moving the, um, the decor that's on the top of the, the closet, right? Would that not have been easier just to put that shit in my wagon than to try to carry it in a box? <laughs> but the box ain't gonna be that heavy because it's not a lot up there, so. <sighs> I guess we'll see. Just getting something done so y'all can stop hollering at me. Well, my mama will be here to holler in a minute. I think one more will be good. Again, it's not gonna be much of nothing heavy going nowhere. This should be good. All right, one box is boxed up. All right, so for instance, I know damn well I'm not getting rid of this because this is my base, my little skull base with my... I cannot believe it. <laughs> I know I'm not getting rid of this. Drops the whole fucking base and it could have broke. Did I break it? You better be glad. Did it crack it all? Um, oh. My, all my Halloween stuff, because y'all know that is the best time of life. So my striped pumpkin, my little skull wreath, all that can go. So I'm so, y'all know this make me so happy that my mama gonna come and see that I did just a little bit of something. Do y'all know how good that make me feel that I did something? I have something to show. <laughs> People please, I got something. I did this look. Um, this, we could put the cable stuff in here. Girl, what is this with my mama name on it? See, I think it's my mama wheel. It surely is. <laughs> this supposed to be in here. My mama wheel just, just, I'm gonna have to ask her about it when she get here. Like, why do I have this? I don't, I didn't even know I had it. Imagine if my mama would have passed, y'all. And I had the wheel this whole time and didn't even know I had the damn wheel. It been up here in this damn closet. What is this and why do I have it? Girl, see this is what I mean. I don't, I don't know. These are candy sticks that are too old. I'm throwing them away. They all melted. The end of the era, y'all. I gotta take my baby down. I'm actually dramatic as fuck. Like, let me get, let me get a clip for um Instagram, y'all. I am sad. <sighs> Girl. 
<laughs> Not Mr. West. Damn. My mama been telling me I could take these down for the longest and they was something that I just didn't want to take down for obvious reasons. Um, oh my God, now it's really, like those pictures being gone really just like sunk. Like, oh yeah, we about to go. And yeah, I hung, I hung them up with thumbtacks because that's what I do. I'm real, like I don't, I don't need a lot. Let me put all my thumbtacks together. Um, yeah, y'all, this feel crazy now. Like just that being gone. It's weird as fuck. All right, so I can't do nothing with this. I'm actually probably finna lay the pictures on top of this. Um, I wanted to put this on my key. This is a hanger that shouldn't be right there, my brother. And then this is some scent spray. Put that in the bathroom for now. Um, I do need to, oh, I can do my gym bag. Y'all, look how dirty this damn Nike gym bag is. I told y'all. Filthy, never been washed a day in his life, which I guess is my fault. But I'm gonna put my stuff, like go through that. That's what I'm about to do. Well, my mama should be here in a minute, because I checked her location, but I'm gonna put my stuff in my gym bag. Here's my Nike lifting belt. Like, it doesn't, it's really big and bulky. I ain't even wore it yet, for real, because I didn't need to. Um, But then I thought about y'all, guess what? I only need it on hamstring days, like when I'm doing deadlifts basically guess what so let me tell y'all this i meant to tell y'all so yesterday the gym was busy because i sorry i went kind of late and so i was like okay my machines that i wanted was taking up and i didn't feel like doing no barbell rdls that's a romanian deadlift anyway um i got these was it 55 pounds of dumbbell and that basically was my workout i'm not a dumbbell girl because y'all know ooh, barbell big snow baby when i tell y'all my my booty feel heavy like when you know how you get sore from working out when your glutes are sore it's a different type of soreness because you don't really move your glutes too much so it just feels heavy and you can like feel that your booty is there Baby, I took that 55 pound dumbbell and I did single hip thrust. I did uh, Romanian deadlifts with it and I did single deadlifts with it. And I'm gonna make a dumbbell guy because I thought the dumbbells was something to play with and if it's the right weight, they're really not. I cannot believe y'all, we have, I don't have nowhere to put y'all. So these are um, the cords for my lights in my bedroom, I mean, well, my closet. Let me tell y'all, the best thing about moving I'm excited about is my bedroom, cause it's bigger, and I hated my closet. We'll talk about that more in a minute. Um, I cannot wait to get out that closet, cause I have a small closet first. Second, the way it is shaped, the, the space is just not maximized, so I'm excited to get a bigger bedroom and a better closet. This is all like Yum's um, stuff. This it, y'all. We gotta get in here. Oh, ain't nothing. We we did the entryway basically in the closet. We're, we're out of here. So I can't like do nothing with the desk. We just gonna that's nothing. We can take that downstairs. Um, but it does have the snow globes on it. That now that I think about, I should have left them at my damn mama house because they don't go with the aesthetic. But they're my snow globes as a kid. They're Disney. This is my favorite one because it's the Anastasia. Anastasia Beverly Hills. Girl, bye. Y'all remember the movie Anastasia? And she had that jewelry box that her grandma gave her when she was lost and didn't know who her family was. So fun fact, that's my favorite Disney movie and it still resonates to this day. It makes me want to watch it over. She didn't know who she was and she was trying to find out who she was. And all my life, I felt like that was me. And I love this. It plays the same song that it did from the movie. upon a December oh my god let me know oh shit y'all it doesn't stop till the top broke off so like it's supposed to but if it's not on just right it's gonna pop her back up so yeah I broke the top but um let me know if anybody remember that song and it literally is the same jewelry box from the movie. Like, this is my favorite snow globe. Was well, not a snow globe. That's my favorite music box. The rest of these, first of all, they dust these foot. We got the graduation one. This is when I graduated. Is this graduated high school? I think it is. And it plays the pomp and circumstance. Oh, no, it ain't. Where is my graduation one? This is the, you know, the, 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 the. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, well, wish upon a star. Where the hell is my graduation snow globe? 
It gotta be at my mama house. I'm pissed. Shut up. I don't want to hear the rest of the song. This one is rocking around the Christmas tree. Oh, we're gonna rock our night away. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, yeah, I ain't played much. And then this is under the sea, of course. <laughs> if I ever have kids, I want to give them that. Now, 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 how you playing the game? So, let me tell you, where is that? See? Okay, so I took everything out the coat closet, right? And just, like put the decoratives up. And this is my important documents binder, right? So I know that this like my passport and stuff in here and blah, blah, blah. But there was a letter that was just sitting on top of it. And I was like, what the hell is this? What is it? You don't know? How you don't know what it is? Really? So, but mama, what I was telling, I was like, that's my mama will. But then mama, just say something had happened to you. Girl, I didn't even know this was in there. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have known. It was, I, was, I was like, what is this? I didn't know it was in there. So if you would have died last month, girl, I didn't even know it was in there. What am I supposed to do with this? If I die, you're supposed to hold and take her and try to contest or something, you can show Who I take it to? They have a lawyer there. You take to a lawyer. You're trying to contest that he's going to take the duplexes. I'm like, Okay, so now I don't feel bad, y'all, because she didn't even know what it was either. Let me switch out my um my gym stuff before I get distracted. Y'all hear my mom on the phone. All right, so first, y'all remember the little mic? This little cheap ass mic is in there. I have my barbell cuffs. Oh, girl, what other one? Because sometimes, depending on what gym I go to, if I go to Crunch. Y'all might not know I'm talking about the colorful gym. They usually have these, but sometimes you gotta look for them. But if you have your own, you don't have to worry about it. And then LA Fitness be real trifling with them. And they're green, so everybody knows that they're mine. I have my workout journal log. The most important thing, my AirPods. Lisa been home. It's really hard for me to lose my AirPods because they don't really leave yeah. my gym bag. Two thousand dollars somewhere. You don't, you don't think out of three years, out of three years, right? This is how I do my upper body warm ups with these bands. I have like other ones that y'all can see that like in these packs, but I've never like this is extra light. Like girl, go ahead. Are they on you? Like, Mama, please. This one actually broke. It was longer, so the size or the like the strength on it might have broke off. But see, I have the other one still wrapped up. This is heavy. I think it's like a medium one, but this is what I use to like just stretch it out when I do upper body. So like these don't even need to go into this one, this bag. Here go a black one. This is extra heavy. Ooh, I just thought about this. I've been wanting to do pull ups on like the squat rack and you be needing like something to bounce you back up. I wonder if this is strong enough. Let me see wow. if I tied it up. Uh, I might try this. So, I know, extra I heavy on it. it got crumbs all on it. Like girl, what? That sugar from when I had my um sour strips. Oh, you know what's crazy? This, yeah, this this don't make no sense for this band to be this dusty. And it's because of those, that shower strip pack. But they're supposed to be in here anyway. So, let me put them on back in here. This is so, whatever. I'm just going to wrap it up. How I even get like that? So, actually, I'm going to put them all in here because I'm just trifling. They were supposed to be in here anyway, but they just been in the bag. But I really only use the yellow one. Um, of course, y'all know that's for me to record on my um, phone. Here is my Nike gloves. Showing it in there. This is the thing that goes to the little mic. This is one of the gloves that I could not find the other one too. I guess I can throw this away. Here go another band. This is light. Um, so these I don't use. These are like cuffs. Y'all don't care. I don't know what I'm trying to tell y'all. Okay. I forgot. This is far removed from a fitness channel. Uh, but like you put these here and then you 
whatever and then so like when you want to lift it and it's too heavy it's kind of like assist you in that mama come here so you you off the phone i don't really need these but i'm not gonna throw them away i'm just put them like somewhere but they don't need to be in the gym bag i need this because this is how i do my um cable kickback mama what you said about my bag? but you don't need that four hundred dollars Baby, no. I answered my question. No, you don't need we made that already. We fine. We have. We good. Uh, Mama, but this is like a quick throw. This is an everyday. Okay, what we do? Did you? And I got it on out? sale. Mm -hmm. You think? So then I bought the bigger one for my new gym bag because you see how raggedy and old. Mm -hmm. So this is my new gym bag. And it's the gym. It's gym shock too. Mm -hmm. What we do? You oh, jealous? Right. She's jealous. Can't believe you called my toe ugly. Oh, yeah. Wrinkled up thing. It's quilted. I can't believe you. This is quilted. Girl, and that shit is ugly. You, do you know Tracy text me cuz? Where'd you get that? She bag got a the from? Kurt MacGyver bag. This is a jump rope that don't get used. Where'd you get that bag from? I said, what bag? That bag in the million video. I said, you supposed to be listening to the video, not looking at my bag. Ma'am. Who bought you that bag? I said I got it from Nordstrom. And I put it in one of the zipper parts. Who she said? I, oh yeah, I bought it. Huh? You bought it. I yeah, said, for you said, to talk mess. She said, "Well, I'm finna order me one." I said, "You supposed to be looking at the video, I'm not looking at my bag." But you tell but, I, but you got right some nerve head. to be talking about my stuff. Yeah, uh, I bet you didn't cost no four hundred dollars. It did. That didn't need to cost four hundred dollars. See what I mean? Okay, y'all see the little part just for my. AirPods. All right. See, yeah, everything will fit in here. I'm gonna put the pin in here. Jasmine lost her AirPods. I'm gonna put yep, cause she trifling, and I hope she see this part. I'm gonna put the gloves in here, and then everybody else. Did you know how to see your hair cut? Mm. What's wrong with it? You said I'm finna, I'm finna send this to. Oh yeah, time. I do be sending her stuff. Everything else just yeah, everything do fit y'all. I was just that Nike belt. Well, like I said, I only really need the Nike belt. Um when I'm doing deadlifts. So it ain't even an everyday thing. Just like I only need that hip thrust pad when it's leg day and I can just put it in here. So I don't really need it to fit. Um, but I am gonna go and just see how it go. But yeah, see everybody goes, oh, this is a, where's the other lifting strap? Where's the other lifting strap? Did I lose a lifting strap too? Oh, well, you didn't need it. Everybody fit. See, I knew this bag was big enough. It's just that when the, when you're trying to get stuff out of here, you can't see in it as good as you could see in there. Ooh, yeah, I'm jealous. I got heavy. tears. I got she jealous of my Nike lifting belt? Uh, you no, could I, never. I gotta go in the bathroom and get some tissue. I'm you want one? You want a Nike lifting belt? No, thank you. Why would I want a Nike lifting belt? I ain't lifting shit. <laughs> That's true. But the fork to my mouth. Y'all hear that? I ain't lifting shit. But the fork to my mouth, girl. Okay, boom, we all we all together. This shit is heavy. But we all together. Okay. So I'm not gonna do mistreat my bag like that for real. I'ma take I guess I can leave that. I don't want this lifting belt in there bent up like that. Day. No, I only need it one day. And then I need this two days out of the week. The barbell pad. But everybody else got to sit y'all last in here. I don't record every day, but I do like to keep my tripod in there. Cause sometimes I be forgetting it. Yeah, no, you didn't. You got that. And tell them where you eating dinner. See, I already came down here acting up. What you? Some damn fried ass chicken. And had the nerdy be in here talking about churches. Her lemonade was six dollars. Talking about churches wouldn't have did that to you. Just nigga tree. Mama, we're gonna have to elevate ourselves, okay? okay? I've never seen this before, and it is so good. It's basically like a little mojito mocktail. So this is a grilled cheese. It got. All different kind of cheese on our own. No uh, macaroni cheese and collard greens. No meat. I said macaroni cheese and collard. Everybody, we don't need meat all the time. The cheese got enough protein. Mmm. It got cornbread on it. I forgot. Mmm. It is so good. That's so stupid. Corn. Cornbread. I can taste it from. It's sweet. Get this soap. And then look at the one that we begin, but smell it. Well, all you can't is close. Mama, I promise you, this soap. 
y'all tell her about the Lume. You can't have smell my it. Thank Cause you. it's closed off. I forgot. But you see, it's fifteen dollars. But mama, it like no odor at all. Nobody odor removes odor better than soap, and it's fifteen dollars. So you gotta believe it. <laughs> I like my vaginal. Your six dollar soap versus yes. the, the the fifteen. No, I have yes, some, $6. so you can use mine to try it. Mm, what flavor you got? The lavender. What flavor? Okay, <laughs> okay y'all. We back at the house. We went and got the um the clothes rack. I was about to, oh, I packed up, well, I didn't pack. I taped off all these little boxes, the small ones. I'm gonna start putting stuff in my room up. Um, I was gonna start putting the makeup in this duffel bag, but I have to do my makeup uh, tonight because I'm gonna do my wig video. Oh, I need to make sure, yeah, let me make sure this battery charged. Y'all still need to be charged. We decided we are gonna go to Harold's tonight. We tried to invite Chelsea, but she gotta edit. <laughs> So anyway, uh, okay, well, what I can do still um, is put like, okay, the small box, put this perfume thing in there. I'm going to wipe down these shelves and put them in there. To be honest with y'all, do I want to wipe them down? No. But I ain't going to be trife. Okay, y'all, let me wipe this down. How, mama, I, I know the answer to this, but I just, where the hell do dust come from because like why is everything in here dusty like these shelves are dusty where did this come from because i don't understand why how you get like that oh i love the mrs myers just for the scent it smells so good when you clean it like when i clean my kitchen and like i spray the counters and stuff the cabinets and stuff like the smell like the whole house smell like it i love it and i know remember we had to learn that it doesn't disinfect <laughs> So we disinfect and then we spray this, but I really just be spraying this if I'm being honest for the smell because it makes the house smell like whatever the spray smell like momentarily anyway. End of the era, y'all. <laughs> My mama said I should keep it, but I'm like, for what? I might put it in the closet or something. I know y'all like I thought she was moving. Girl, I had to do this wig review. So I did it. I had to put on makeup and all that just to do this wig review. And now we're about to go to get chicken because somebody won't hurls. But, um, yeah, I guess I just want y'all to see my hair. Do y'all see this? You know, if you want to see the install, what you got to do, you already know. Um, I don't know who going up first, probably y'all. So you can have to look out for the review of this, but yeah. She is Kurt. She's Kurt. <laughs> Y'all, we came to the wrong girls. It's a club environment. They got hookah. I want to order a hookah and she acting like she too good. Oh, and we need to relax. Oh, I said, I said, I want to order a hookah. She talking about something. You got to drive. All because you want it chicken. You want ghetto food? You got to come to ghetto. Hey, y'all, we got the keys to the new apartment. I know, I know you lying. <laughs> we got the key to the new apartment. Um, it's been a day. We just not getting the key at three. I just realized I ain't show y'all the food last night, but whatever. We finna pray over the apartment. I just want y'all to know, as soon as I walked in this hole, I was like, it's dark. 
Cause I only got four windows. All right, y'all. Wait, mom, we gonna like for really, really precious and some glasses. Pick them up, no, no shoes on the damn carpet, y'all. We gonna try to keep it nice. I do love this bedroom cause it is fucking huge. This is perfect. Oh, baby, 73. Well, we ain't got no windows. It might be cold. Look how big this room is. I want to do a cartwheel, but I can't. <laughs> Mama, we can see the etcher. Oh, yeah, I'm putting my mirror right there because I don't want to see nobody. And I can see them, them, them. I go out on the balcony and look up and say, you're in my daughter's apartment, ma'am. This bedroom is so big. That's why you need your computer in there, I don't want to be cooped up in this room all day. I don't care. What you gonna do with them dumb Mama, I don't want no chew on my carpet. We got a glass shower now. No. Look at all the cabinets. You know you caught me, I'm trying to keep this clean. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, take a shower. We ain't had no um, all of this. Ooh. Sure did. That's crazy, and this cost less. Yeah. Yeah, the mirror was and I like my closet better because you see how the my closet you can get up in here. And Mine was shaped. And you see, you got your own shower separated from the tub. You had it. At my on a higher floor, it did though with my apartment. I don't know why I did it, but I like this tub better. It's pretty. And now, they need to come fix my um. So you think every time I bring some clothes down here, I'm gonna be taking my shoes off? Mama, for real, I want to keep these carpets well, nice. You I see what the other ones look like. I put on my house shoes and I can slide them off. Them. <sighs> it's the same apartment. So many people was like, look like you already moved. We got more counter space too, did you notice? Know and more cabinets. I don't even have enough stuff to fill these cabinets. Did you notice that? We do not have all of this, these cabinets. Okay, okay, and the bottom. Mama, we got to pray. We ain't even come in here. This room tiny. So is this what you tell me? See, y'all told me this light been on. Oh wait, is this what you tell me I'm putting the computer in? No. Thank you. It's the other bathroom. Where my bed go? Shit. Her bed. I'm talking about so the couch gonna go right here, right? Look, mama. Yeah, low battery. Y'all hear that? Couch, TV. I'm gonna put the computer right here against these windows. Okay. All right, let's pray. And what about the bells and stuff? The bells? The dumbbells. Girl, put them in the damn closet. For them little ass closets. Mama, that's mold. Cause ain't nobody been here. Just flush the toilet. Look, yeah, you can walk down in this hole. Like I don't think y'all understand. Y'all is right here. Look, y'all can walk down in this hole. 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 Y'all can walk down in this yeah, he's gonna bring all his hair. Sure is, I know. Everywhere. That's why I said, I said I want him, I don't, I want to keep him out here for as long as possible, but we got what we got to do, that's our baby. So what you think about this mom comparing it to the last apartment? What do you think? It's alright, go ahead. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. We're just standing out on the windows. That's what you was paying for, them windows. What do you think about the view? It's okay? It's fine. We just don't have all our windows. I love it. I love it because that closet is bigger. I do love the closets I are bigger. I love it because your room is bigger. I do love that my room is bigger. I love it because you have the stand up shower in there. I love it because we got more cabinet We have space. way more cabinet space. All the thing missing is the windows. The windows. But I'm not mad just because in the room you get that little curve. And in my bedroom, you know, I kept the blinds down because them girls could I see. I could take one thing out of the apartment. That's what you pay for them damn oh, windows. Y'all is. 
Father, Bless you, Lord. Father God, we thank you. We come to you with thanksgiving on our heart. We thank you for who you are, for what you're doing, what you're going to do, and what you've already done. We're stepping into a new destiny. This is going to be our hot book. <laughs> Nothing but abundance and blessing and happiness. I ask that you go into each and every room, that you touch it from the top of the city to the bottom of the floor, that you cover it, Lord, that you put your name and sit it all over. I ask that you touch me and that she comes in here with a bountiful heart, that she comes in here with money on her mind, and that's all 2024 going to be. This apartment is going to bring us blessing, happiness, and wisdom, God. Wisdom, most of all. We're seeking you because if we seek you, everything else will be added. I just ask that you come to this apartment and you just show us what, we, what you can do. Because I know you're going to show up and show out. It's nothing but abundance and blessings. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you. We thank you for who you are, for being God all by yourself. Amen, amen, and amen. Mama, we have neighbors above us now. Well, sir? So what you say? Because she done put my apartment number all out. I want to, I'm gonna take y'all back up just so y'all can see. So y'all see all these cabinets and I'm gonna show y'all my cabinets. Okay, so we got this all up here and over there. Then at the bottom, boom, 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 all around. I don't even got enough stuff to put in these cabinets. Cause I ain't have all this or this counter space. Okay. See, I have those which would never got used cause they were so high up. And then I have this and this and that's all the counters. That's crazy, mama, did you see that? I literally got those two, these two, these two, those didn't get used too much, and that's it. And no counters, like, this is all the counter space I have, except for the island. So now I got like all the counters and like a whole bunch of, so I, I mean, it has a lot of positives. Really y'all, the only thing that apartment don't got is the panoramic. Oh my God, it's so like, but I guess. And then when you walk, when you come to my door, like you can see my whole apartment. And then in here, like you just got this. You know, like the long hallway kind of separated. But honestly, I feel like this was eating up a lot of the square footage. So, I guess. to edit y'all i am so tired y'all it's 6 30 the only thing that i don't like about today is we literally didn't get to start like moving stuff until like three o'clock so we literally only been doing it for like three and a half hours and we could have got so much more done if we could have started in the morning like we thought we was but we got everything out the hall she gone girl it is echoing girl we got everything out of the laundry room except for this because my mama was washing one of that load. So all of that. Oh, mama, it's stuff on the side of there. Hangers and stuff. We got everything um, out there. I got there. these because you can't hang them on your new bag for Christmas. Not just for Christmas. When it get warm, I like to go out there. So this the new, this it was a table right there. Um, all of this stuff is my mama's stuff. Uh, we got everything out the activewear closet. Oh, yeah, but I love my new apartment's closet because it is so huge. Like, the new apartment activewear closet got my activewear in there and inventory in there and the workout equipment in there. Like, it's crazy. And then we got everything out of here, except for the computer because I have to edit. And I was going to take y'all to the new apartment and edit, but I didn't want to take the Wi-Fi box and then I didn't have no TV later when I'm trying to go to bed. 
and these are the racks that the inventory is on but the movers gonna have to move those and the towels those are young's towels drying but these little the mirrors is on the wall i'm gonna get rid of them because i don't have no use for them um yep that's it y'all it's that's it this is wild so we got also all the seasonings oh all the stuff out the pantry and now she taking dishes in the wagon um the point well oh we got everything off the bat we really did good in three and a half hours so like i was saying i feel like this is the easiest move we got everything off the back except for the egg chair i feel like this was the easiest move because oh the bar cart gone the stuff under the tv gone the only thing we didn't do was really come in here oh i got my little i'll show y'all though because i'm about to take y'all up there so wait the point was i felt like this was the easiest move y'all kept somebody you you need to pack me to pack and i was like y'all don't understand we can't really pack it was the easiest move because the apartment up or downstairs is basically already put together because we literally just it's like taking this purse off this bed and moving it to the table it was so easy um so the movers are gonna come i'm acting like i done scheduled them <laughs> I gotta go cool it. Y'all like you ain't scared no movers. I'm literally gonna go on thumbtack or something and just get I don't I just need you to move my bed, put it together, move the couch. Like we pretty much got everything. The mirror needs to be moved. I need to get the TVs off the wall. I feel like it's gonna be worse tomorrow. Like I gotta get the TVs off the wall. So I gotta get somebody to come unmount them, then mount them. I gotta get a new TV for the living room. I'm excited because I'm getting a 65 inch. So it'll be bigger. Um and I have to come and get all my stuff out the bathroom and then my closet. So I would be doing that now, but I'm gonna go ahead and stop so I can edit y'all so I can have a vlog tomorrow. But if I didn't have to do that, baby, I would be up in that closet. Mama, what about the um the shower head? Okay, so let me take y'all upstairs and show y'all what it looked like. I got one question. What? That paint on the counter. What paint? On the other counter. Keeping the water. Oh, what's that the fourth day guy bought. What's going on? He bought this paint, and I just kept it. I just didn't know what to do. Okay, y'all, I've definitely had it. So let me show y'all what we did. So I'm at the door, right? So this is what's weird about the apartment. So I'm literally at the door, still at the door. And when you open the door, you literally can see the whole apartment. And y'all know, like my last apartment had like the long hallway or whatever. But anyway, this is Yum's shelf that y'all never seen this too much. But anyway, I put it right here. We had to work out and finagle some stuff because y'all know I had that entryway in my long hallway. And the only reason I bought that shelf was because I had that long hallway and I had to put something there. So here is the closet that's the decorative stuff these are the coats and that is my gym bag and i'm going when i'm done with the wagon i'll fold it up and put that here i have no idea now oh my closet is big i was gonna say i have no idea what i'm gonna do with my suitcases because i had my suitcases like in my closet like this along with the wagon but now since i have a bigger closet they can definitely go in there without like no hesitation it's probably way too much room um so we have nothing in the fridge yet. Uh, my mama just got the dishes out the dishwasher we brought down here. So it's not that many dishes. We did get all of the seasonings. It's so nice and neat. Y'all, I have so much cabinet space. I don't know what to do. Y'all see my Jack stuff. Um, I got some glassware in here. Um, okay. Nothing here. Like, it's just too much cabinet space. I don't even have that much stuff like it's nothing oh yeah i did put my blender bottles there and there's nothing in these bottom oh this one is like the skillets but that's all i have i don't even have that much stuff and uh, this one because we don't have like that little space in our laundry room where i was putting my mop bucket but since i got so much cabinet space now this can definitely be like the cleaning um nook or whatever and then the mop bucket is there Here is our pantry, okay? And y'all know that the chairs would be right here, but we haven't got them yet. Oh, well, there's nothing in the, oh, that's that light, okay. Oh, that was, okay, yeah. There's nothing in the laundry, well, I lied. Right, it's nothing much, brooms and stuff over there. And so the chairs will be here. The bar cart is up against like the HVAC closet because we're not supposed to go in there anyway. It's actually supposed to be locked. So I was like, cool, I'll put the bar cart there. Um, Money Mitch cannot go there anymore though, y'all, because he would have no sunlight. So here is the entryway like desk. Of course the Kanye pictures will be hung, but I put them there 
snow goes there. I don't know why my, why my mama put them like that and didn't spread them out, but okay. And Yum's crate will go right here. The couch will be like where I'm standing in the middle of the floor. Then we'll have our TV, kind of like how we had to set up, you know, yum, not yum, sorry, yay. And then I want to put my computer desk here, I think and believe, I'm pretty sure. So that's why Money Mitch is sitting right there because he's going to go like mix on top of the computer desk to make sure he's getting some sunlight. And it's freezing out here, I'm not going out here, but yeah. <laughs> so in my room, y'all, there's pretty much nothing. Now, this was like by the entryway. And since I don't have an entryway no more, I moved it and I did have it out here, but I felt like it clashed because I have the two, y'all know, what are those? Not feathers, I can't think of the word right now. Whatever, they're black and this is not. So I put it in my room, but I don't know. Now the reason why I'm confused about the computer desk because my room is so big. I couldn't put my computer desk in here, either there, there, I would not put it up against the uh, window, but I could. So we'll see. I don't want it in here just because I don't want to be in my room working we y'all see my air quotes working so that's why i didn't want to in here but look though or see here well no anyway it's just it's a big room this room is huge i love it um but again i don't want my work in here i might actually put the love sack in here up against one of these walls maybe like my a little reading thing i don't know but it might look bad i don't know anyway so my bed is definitely gonna be right there tv right here and then like even my little shelf that had my purses, I doubt I'm gonna keep it over here on these windows. I don't think I want to think it's these windows cause it's kind of like it does a catty corner thing. I do want to put my mirror here though. That way, like if I'm taking a picture in my mirror, I'm getting light cause it's coming from there. And also if I put my mirror right here, you can't see directly into my fucking bedroom. <laughs> so that's why my big mirror in my room will go there and it'll be great. Um bed so i don't know what i'm gonna put here so i could even put this is too big to go there but this could go there or it could go there but i also forgot i do have my black vanity that goes under the tv so i still have that anyway i'll worry about that tomorrow in the bathroom there's literally nothing at all but i did put my socks in the closet y'all this closet is huge oh i didn't show y'all the other closet so yeah my suitcases could go here here i could even put them up there like my other closet i don't know if y'all know this but it was just so weird to get in there and it was dark like this i don't even have enough clothes to fill this closet let me show y'all what i mean so like my active wear closet looks crazy because at first it looked like you know it was she was she had some stuff in there but because this closet is so big it's like girl there's two pieces of clothes in here what is you doing but it's not two pieces of clothes oh i didn't even show y'all this room girl i'm tired it's nothing in here right now but the love sack and like some filming equipment or light because this is literally gonna be a bedroom y'all and this is a small room it's not gonna be no tv in here or nothing but i'm definitely gonna put a bed in here and I might set up my inventory. I am gonna set up, what am I talking about? I'm gonna put my inventory shelves right here. I don't know if I'm gonna leave the love sack in here or not, whatever. But I'm gonna go ahead and put a bed in there for people, y'all. So this is the other bathroom. We did move this little table in here. Um, This is like where I keep my linen. And this closet. So these are my clothes, like, I want to come in here and close the door because it's a little bit darker and this when the light in is bright. Let me see if I can brighten y'all up. I tried. <laughs> so anyway, these are the, this y'all I'm showing like with a little bit of other like shorts that can go literally right here and I'm probably going to move them. These are all of the clothes. Now y'all know in that other closet, it looked like I had hella activewear. So what I'm going to do is like spread them out because I don't know why my mama did this. These need to be hung up. But like, first of all, she got them out of order because why these blacks ain't with the blacks? But I'm going to like, I guess, spread it out. But literally, these are all my activewear things right here. And they're in, yeah. And there's, those are shoes. Those are hats. Nothing here. Those are shorts that could have easily been over here. That's a yoga mat. Boom. Those are inventory boxes that, you know, the black fold-up boxes. That is the, um, like, the exercise bench. That's all inventory. These are weights. And those are hangers and those are books. And that's it. And y'all see so much more room, like, in this closet. That is crazy to me because my other closets, 
They just wasn't that girl. They wasn't that girl. Now that I, I'm in another apartment and I think about it, like they really was charging your ass for them fucking windows, which I'm not mad because I wanted the corner view. Yeah, all of that. But that's all I got with that apartment. Literally all I got. Anyway, another thing I noticed today is I have not been on my phone today because I've been moving and I absolutely love it. I'm trying to not be on my phone as much. It's a little hard, because first of all, I be bored. Like, I, you know, I'm sitting there, like, if I'm sitting on the computer editing, I'll get bored of editing real quick, and now I want to, like, pick up my phone. But y'all know I've been busy, so I haven't been able to pick up my phone. And I'm trying to think, how can I, um, like, fill up my time so that I don't need to be on my phone like that? Because I really enjoy not being on that phone. And I want to work on that, like, this year, not being on that phone like that. <laughs> So anyway, I'm about to go edit y'all. So y'all will see this on Monday. And I holla, cause I is tired. We're almost done, it's almost complete. I'm hollering.